Hey, there was we there are. an intro? I don't, I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We just had a black screen. So. Oh, Meg took it with her. Uh, so, damn it. Is she going to be here? For the I patch? mean, Maybe. someone will be there. Yeah, all right. Anyone Maybe. Who, anyone who wants to walk on can just sit right there. Wow, look, here she comes. Oh, that was seriously? amazing. Whoa. She's like shedding awesome. stuff there with the purse. Hey. Wow, you nailed it. Hey. Wow. Hey. Perfect. <laughs> Well, hi everybody. Welcome to the patch. Hey. We didn't do the intro because there was right. no intro. Yeah. Uh, brought to you today by Casper and the RT store and Meg Turney. Hey. Mayday. The RT store's on your side. Yeah, yeah, it is. RT store, Casper. Hello. Yeah. It's right? a beanie you made it. Good job. <laughs> hi. Uh, all right. After that exciting beginning. Uh which well, you know, what's going on? How you doing, man? Pretty good. I also ran to get here yeah, too. Because well. yeah. I was sitting in the office playing Rainbow Six, and Michael's like, "Dude, aren't you on the patch in like three minutes or something?" I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> I literally walked out of the room. And was like, uh, "Meg will be there. She'll be just you know kind of coming in second late. We may have to start without her." And I was, you kind of just kept playing. I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> all right." So I walked out I was of the room. Really into it. Like, yeah, you're oh, super. I'm so, I'm so what were you close. playing? So we just finished doing. We did a, uh, a terror hunt. Finished. Let's play. Yeah, I mean, it. Ended. We just gave up. Yeah. on a terror hunt. Let's play. It's so much harder. I mean, like, well, kind of. The classic terrorist hunts are still the same thing, you know. Yeah, it's but still... it's a, it's random. You don't get to just do classic that sucks. Terrorist hunt. Yeah, because we we tried playing like two classics, and then we just tried a bomb defusal today, mm -hmm. and uh, and now and we didn't beat any of them. No, spoiler alert. Well, unrealistic. We're doing it <laughs> on, on realistic. Yeah, unrealistic. But um, I mean, we can't now go back to that level if we wanted to. Yeah, so the way Terrace Hunt works now is it's more like a multiplayer playlist. You think so? I hate you! <laughs> I'm yelling at the timekeeping device, which flips over now whenever. And I didn't bring my sunglasses today, so I have no way of securing it in place. So you know what? We should have oh, just... Oh, damn. We damn. We should have played it up. You should have been like, I hate you. And I'd be like, oh, why? And then the, the audio listeners would have thought one thing, but the video people would have known it was different. Take that time. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> See, it doesn't matter, but that it. clock's not accurate. So. Yeah, we're really <laughs> fucked at this point. Uh, Somebody's going to have to give us one of these. Yeah. <laughs> well, we still have clocks. Oh, I guess I'm the one with yeah, the Yeah, you're the only oh, yeah. one with the clock. Uh, we have clock. We have clock. <laughs> the, uh, it works more like a playlist. So now there's not just Terrace you know, there's Terrace Hunt Classic, which is just your team trying to take an objective and kill all the enemies inside but there's also basically like a hostage rescue there's a bomb defusal i think there's a couple more um pretty yeah. much everything you run through in the situations which is basically the entire single player of this game mm -hmm. uh which is not a long i wouldn't even call yeah. it a campaign it's a protracted no, it's tutorial yeah it's just a bunch of different terrorist hunt missions that you do by yourself that's right. it yeah, yeah. It, it, exactly well no some of them you have to do kidnap rescue and things like that Fair enough. It's, but there are missions like that. Like, there's a hostage rescue terrorist hunt, so that's like yes. the same thing. No, right? you're right. It's you're... all of them. It's literally <laughs> like, yeah. You are correct, yeah. You got no, the peanut butter in my chocolate. You got chocolate in my peanut butter. Yeah. So are you guys liking it? Because it's getting a good shit ton of meh reviews. That's what you've been really curious about, because that's why I've heard it's keep getting meh reviews, Very and meh. I've just been playing it. So, oh. yeah. I don't... It's one of those games that if you're not in a setup like we are, where we're just always in a in a room with other people that we're talking to and, and like collaborating with yeah. and stuff, if you're just playing online, I can see it not being like the best thing. Yeah, you have a point there. I mean, I've I've played a, at this point. I think I've played probably at least five, six, seven hours, something like that. But a lot of that was probably the situations, the single player stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I really haven't encountered any major bugs. No. I have noticed that the enemies are super good at shooting you through walls. Oh, like yeah, I they know a little where too much. They're dead on. Also, yeah. I don't know if you've noticed from the kill cams, they suffer from no recoil at all. Yeah. Like well, their gun is dead on. It never moves. Well, you see them go like, oh, and you're just like, you die in right. there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just how they make it, the game hard. I mean, that's yeah. essentially the, any bot has got to be programmed to miss. Fair enough. That's how bots work. Adam Kovic likened this game to Evolve. Agree okay. or disagree? To evolve. It, it, in that you have to be with people for it to be fun. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, I've, I've, the matches that I've played, sometimes they go really well. Like when you know you get a group of people that knows kind of that you should sort of stick together or work as a group, mm -hmm. um, then it goes well. If you get a group of people that <coughs> excuse me all want to do the lone wolf thing, then you're just hosed. It's like mm. all right. And then sometimes there's I thought like you were one coughing because I go off. Like, on my own. Yeah, <laughs> I think people some up. <laughs> yeah, not like Jeremy <coughs> just did according against plan. It's true. Did do that. Team you go, kill a little you bit. Rogue? Oh. <laughs> I'm a 
little bit of a team killer. Okay. Sorry. Jeremy has can a you, problem. Can but. you look that way for me? Perfect. This is just driving me friggin' crazy. Okay, what? go ahead. It was just like, I don't know, it was like a flake of something on your hair. You're yeah, right? yeah now I've got this hat on today because of you. Oh, I had to go to the neurologist smelling like old, crappy milk, so thank you. The old, crappy milk was not my fault. I nothing about this. Yes. <laughs> By the way, can we talk about whipped cream for a minute? Yeah, it smells like old milk when it gets on you. How do people use that in sex? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Wait a second. Let's talk about this. Okay, yeah. can I just say you're proving my point that I made earlier? Vanilla. What are you talking about? Vanilla. I'm, like, I'm just, this came from uh, Varsity Blues, right? Why she is did sex the, life is vanilla? She did the, the, the whipped yeah. cream. Don't stop bikini, doing right? this to me. <laughs> yeah? yeah? <laughs> she did the, she and did it There to was you. some down yes. here, too. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't understand what you don't what get is, about that. What is not connecting here? Yeah, what's here? the confusion? It smells awful. Why would you, would it you want to vomit? It smells awful. No, it smells awful if you let it sit on people. Yeah, you're getting rid people. of it like immediately. Immediately. It off immediately. Maybe it was a licking thing. Right. Maybe if you lick it off, it removes more of the scent. Yeah, you just didn't get it off. Also, what I figured uh, out, I think it's in our nostrils. Well, that's that's I went in the nostril to try and make sure that's... Of course you did. I found some in the ear, I'm just telling you, it doesn't smell gross when you originally eat it when it's like good whipped cream. It smells gross. Okay, whatever. Any kind of any kind of dairy product that gets in here, you know, uh, yeah. like the whole versus thing where they were feeding me food yeah. and stuff. I got mac and cheese up there. Oh, that was horrible. It horrible. So there's not bad. a really like like your finger, sure, but there's not like a like, little brush you could stick up there there's to really like hose it out. You know what? We've got little brushes like that, like Roto Rooter. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. No, you use them for cleaning out bottles. Like when you have baby uh, bottles, there's like little, they're like pipe cleaners almost. But you need like a tiny one. Of it those. would hurt. Oops. It would hurt so really much. bad though. It would be abrasive. <laughs> It'd be the worst thing you'd ever done to yourself. But you need one because it'd be better than waterboarding for torture. Because your <laughs> nose, would you need to clean it out with the whipped cream? No, I don't think that would work. <laughs> okay, no. just smell rotten anyway. milk all day. <laughs> so yeah, what? Uh, why are people so mad on it? If you have you read any of the reviews? Um, I've just been reading a lot of if you don't have a team mm-hmm. together. Yeah. Not so great. Technical issues. I mean, you guys, even when you played on stage, had a huge technical issue. We had issue. a huge one on so, stage. Oh, really? I mean, uh, that's I the time <laughs> you don't want to have a technical issue. It's true. And it's crazy that you still got to play the whole match without like a, you know, we should maybe stop. It this is, is maybe right? not the best showcase of our game, but whatever. They, they cut a very uh, compelling reel that somehow, I think, managed not to show any of that. Oh, interesting. Oh, nice. Um, nice. The Sorry, we're pulling up. back the curtain on yeah. the fact that <laughs> Well, that no, the whole stream is also up, too. Oh, but, good, So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like it's not T-pose type thing. Damn. And they also delayed the game. I mean, like, yeah. they kind of killed their own hype for it. That's true. Yeah. But, I mean, like, as far as being a team game, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I can really see cool. it being if you're just someone who likes to play by yourself or, you know, jump into a multiplayer match just at some point. It's it's not great. The downside is it's got a lot of downtime, especially early on when you're not great. Mm-hmm. Um the the one advantage really of doing the the single player stuff like the ten uh, missions the that kind of just introduce you to different character types and uh, there's also like challenges on each map there are three stars that you could do and each one of those stars unlocks twenty of their or two hundred of their credits uh, I think the renown points is what they're called yeah right? yep that's what you use to unlock all your characters and your weapon upgrades and things like that um, so you can get thousands of renowned points just by doing the single player part of it. So I would definitely recommend that for anybody who wants to play because you don't want to just jump into single player or into multiplayer as a recruit. No, it's not fun. <laughs> Even though the recruit's not bad. I mean, it's actually got it's a not great. decent weapon set. It just doesn't have anything unique. Yeah. Like a unique, awesome thing like all the others do. Like a scope. Like a scope. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't for indoors. In it works. Quarters. It has like night vision so I can see. How often is it nighttime indoors? It's just dark. Okay, fair <laughs> so enough. So you're like, oh, someone's over He's there. He's not wrong. It is very dark. Yeah. Like there's, they, I don't know if they play around with the uh, just like the like uh, dynamic range because when you're outside in the daylight and you're trying to look into a building, it's just like a dark pit. Yeah, you cannot see in there. That's kind of cool though. Until the bullets hit you in the face. In the one, the playthrough they did, it wasn't this E3. It was E3 2014 when they first announced the game. That one was awesome, and that was at nighttime, and then all mm. the lights were on in the house. Is that still a, like a stage you can play now? I'm sure, yeah, the, at least in the beta. Now, we have, it's interesting, but I don't think we've come across a nighttime terrorist hunt yet. No. Maybe they don't have them in the terrorist hunt, but they did in the beta. I, I, haven't, I didn't play the beta when you guys uh-huh. were doing all those. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the beta, they definitely had day and night versions of the maps. Um, I haven't seen one yet. We've hmm. always been during that'd the day. Be weird. I wonder if they have removed it. Yeah, that'd be strange to remove, though. But I yeah. think that feel. I guess, does it... I don't, is it weird sentence to say it feels more terroristy at night? 
Do you think so? But like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's a daytime thing. It's kind of like it's not as sexy. You know what I mean? I feel like, better about using my sexy. scope. <laughs> I don't know the, the Ryan term. Would make the, fun I'm of trying, me the point I'm trying to make here. But, you know yeah. what I mean? No, I mean, it seems like Nighttime, if I had the that's option. all for you. Yeah, right? I'm all about that scope. Mm. Unless they're terrorist vampires, in which case, daytime all the way. All the way, yeah. Because yeah, that's uh, really going to help you out. Wow, well, I mean, they can't go outside. Right. Which is well, a big problem. We don't because... even know which vampires we're talking about here. Maybe they could go outside. Oh, they might be daywalkers. It's a different vampire. Well, then you're really hosed. It doesn't, yeah, doesn't matter how many rainbow teams you throw <laughs> out. I'm really into the term hosed lately. That's a good word, right? right. Hosed? From, like Michigan now. It's, it's family friendly. But yeah. he gets its point across. He also told me to suck a butt earlier. That's less yeah. family very, friendly, but, but he still friendly. gets the point That's across. not family friendly. friendly. <laughs> you don't family say friendly. that in polite company. Such family friendly, like, insults. Look, my mother would not be happy with me <laughs> really? for saying suck a butt. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe my family's different, but. Yeah, exactly. My family would be like. <laughs> What are you talking about, pansy? Like, right, look, I'm from Georgia, all right? We got the, the you know, sweet Oh, cunt. excuse me. I'm getting yeah. the vapors. Did yeah, you say you a butt <laughs> Well, instead of, like, Fair shut enough. up or something, my grandma will say, up your rectum. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know why that's her. That's what she started saying. My, my grandmother would never say that. That's, uh, yeah, up your rectum. That's a good one, though. Oh, I thought it was going to be really cute. Like sit on it. Oh no, <laughs> absolutely not. No, nope. like, up your rectum. No, literally violate yourself right <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a great woman, Grandma Dooley. <laughs> At least it doesn't start with like in my day, my rectum. Like it's a story about no, my rectum no, 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 that no. follows it. At least there's not that. Let's bring back sit on it. Yeah, it's a great insult. Any, any other yep. things I like I'm to say that are not okay? I'm just going to look at your patch notes, by the way, that you didn't send it to, to broadcast it a very I, timely okay, manner. Okay, here's the thing. I sent them. Um, well, one, I was still trying to figure out the cast because, mm. by the way, internet, uh, we had several options that I put out there today. So uh, Gus is gone. Ashley's gone. So we're like, hey, you know, okay, Jeremy was the first to say yes. You know if I'm here, someone said no. <laughs> <laughs> you were the first to sign on. Oh, so, <laughs> look at that man. A sad I man. think you're doing a great job. I'm Thanks. happy Thanks, to rotate yeah, you we in. We like having you. Yeah, yeah, nice. I'll that take gives it. more of us breaks. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, Carrie says no. Miles says no. Adam Bear just doesn't even talk. Oh, he doesn't wow. respond to emails wow. at all. He's over there somewhere. He's traumatized. You should have sent the request to uh, like the uh, IT tech, research yeah, thing. Yeah. Hmm. It would. You didn't say the whole thing. No, no, you? I didn't <laughs> want to say the whole thing. Yeah. Already, let's talk about something else. Did you know that PlayStation unlocked its seventh core? Yes, I just read that. <laughs> Did, you? Did you? That's the headline. Do you want to talk more about but that? We don't know how or? much of the seventh core they unlocked. And also, Xbox One did it like a year ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Xbox One's cores weren't as powerful. Yeah. So throwing an extra core for the Xbox One was almost mandatory to keep up with but the hobbled PS4. Fair enough. But we don't know. Um, burr, 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 we do burr, burr. know that there's a lot more PS4s out there oh. in the world thanks to Black Friday. Yes, we do. Oh, really? They sold a lot more. They were in the both Xbox well, One and PS4 were in the top five selling gadgets for Black Friday. They were. Ooh. The interesting thing was they actually that article I, I linked to actually has a breakdown, and the millennials much heavier weighted towards the PS4, but it was still you know not a blowout by any means. Well, but okay. Microsoft had all bundles, and they had more deals like offered mm -hmm. than Sony did. Well, they did. I mean, they 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 have a lot of ground to make up because PlayStations are over 30 million consoles at yeah. this point. I think they just hit that landmark not too long ago. So they're killing it. Um, PS4 did a good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they right. did, which is so crazy. Like, it's I still don't understand the flip-flop. Why? Because when you're playing social games, it used to be like, of course it's on Xbox 360. Of course that's when I'm going to be playing on Xbox Live with my friends. It was never the PSN. Yeah, I'm going to go play on PSN. Yeah, like, it never. Did, you didn't hear well, it's because PSN never. sucked. It did. But it was now so bad for so it. long. It's now they're charging so money. Crazy. Now it's, it's better. Now it's good. Now, now I like it because I have to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I had I needed to. the money to make it better. Well, I then you like have to it. like it because you gave money for it. It's true. Yeah, it's like a pride thing. It's like I paid for this, so I guess it's okay. Um, but... The uh, so the millennials were heavily weighted to the PS4. Uh, the mature, the older crowd was yeah, more even split or even Xbox One favoring. So oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's like the younger generation have re have really gone in for PS4, but uh, the COD fans. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, I mean, what what generation is that? I mean, it feels like I feel like what happened is a lot of the traditional Nintendo audience. Yeah. has jumped ship on Nintendo to go to PS4. Because that mm. seems like it's the younger generation that's jumping over to the PlayStation. Mm. Um, or maybe they're graduating from uh, from Nintendo products, and that's where they're going. 
Don't leave. I guess. I Don't mean, Don't leave Nintendo. Yeah, the way I would see <laughs> Xbox sales not doing well is if people aren't coming from the last generation. Like, because there's a lot of that. Right, too. they're just staying with their there 360s. Were, there was a lot more 360s than there were PS3s out yes. there. But then, so it must be just new new players coming in, and they just immediately go to PS4. Do you think that? Um, do you think that they should cut it off at this point? Like, let it die? Say no more 360 titles coming out at all? Uh. I mean, I'm fine with that, but it's I don't think it's been a they, long time. It has. Um, I think they can work with it a little longer. Mm. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of depends on what you saw with with sales. You know, like mm. the sale numbers are still telling you that people are still acquiring them, so a lot of people are still playing the 360. I think it's the developers that's going to push it out because yeah. I mean, like Black Ops Three, they had multiplayer, which looked pretty ugly on the 360. Well, I mean, it did its best. Yeah. It did its and best. no campaign because it and simply no could not handle the awesome. Ugh. So, I mean, that kind of thing is going to start happening more often cuz developers aren't going to especially for the AAA titles, they're not going to want to develop a title version that is so significantly different cuz that's if you can, you know, port the same sort of resources from title to title, mm. then okay, not that big of a hindrance. But if you have to completely dumb it down to 360 levels, yeah. One of the things I thought that was interesting, we did a story about the um, PlayStation 7th Core um, that Eddie pointed out was that Sony opening up the 7th Core to him said that they were mostly done with their operating system for the PS4 and they weren't going to mess with it too much more because they know how much power they need and now they're releasing the last of that power in releasing their 7th, they're opening up their 7th Core. So could it be signaling that maybe they're done developing for PS4 even? For that OS and starting to think about PS5. Seriously? Yes. No. Already? Really? No. It's been what two years, three years now? Well, I mean, that is the weird thing because it's what 360 is now ten years old. I think it just recently hit that milestone. Yeah, probably. So, um, I mean, it's not unheard of. Nintendo's coming out with new hardware, maybe next year. Yeah, but Nintendo's not. The Nintendo hardware coming out doesn't push the other two major guys at all. I don't think so. Nintendo still hasn't caught up. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, NX could be could be something really, really cool, right? Like, it has no. the potential. How dare you? How could it not <laughs> absolutely not be? Get the fuck off this stage. Look, Suck a butt, Ryan. <laughs> they've got so much ground to cover. Up your rectum. All right. That's probably where you can <laughs> yeah. find the last Nintendo release. Yeah, exactly, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. um, but I, I thought it was interesting. I mean, obviously, we're not getting a PS5 in 2016, but... Think about how long they work on stuff like that. Could we be getting a team that was working on the operating system for PS4 over to whatever their next console could be? Hmm. I mean, I, I don't think it would surprise me if people were starting to work on it now or, like, even just kind of brainstorm with it. But, I mean, that's a. I mean, how long were the other consoles out before they released a new one? It was eight years? Yeah, I mean, because 360 is 10, so uh, in the Xbox One and PS4 are, we think, about two-ish. Two or three years old. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty long lifespan, actually, yeah, for the PS3 and 360. Be, they don't ha have to be even. They don't. Well, the thing is, so, most of the modern consoles are kind of built on an existing infrastructure of computing power. So, uh, until, I mean, they're, they're customized, but uh, they're not wildly off the mark. Like, sure. their yeah. current chip manufacturers make the chips that go into these things. Uh, so, until there's a big development in CPU power... Usually they're not developing the CPU in house. I don't think because um, it's like Intel that does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, or AMD. I think powers a lot of the consoles, especially for graphics. But maybe now they're developing in house. We'll have PS4 cards. The only thing I can cards. think maybe that that would would drive a new version of the console sooner would be the Morpheus because uh, that's going to take a lot more computational VR. power than what their current setup has. Which, I mean, it's going to... They'll release titles that will run on the existing hardware. Uh, but the more advanced stuff is probably going to... I mean, it's it's hard to do that on heavy-duty PCs right now. Mainly because, I mean, you know, the main recourse for making higher uh, graphics things run is uh, doing, like, an SLI configuration, which is not... It's just barely gotten there with NVIDIA support and ATI is, is still kind of catching up too. Um, so that's going to be hard to get into a console because that SLI is pretty heat and power intensive. Let me yeah. ask you this. Yeah. Uh -oh. um, also, Xbox One is two years old. I said two or three. It's yeah. two. All right. Yep. Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think the next consoles will actually be consoles or do you think there'll be some sort of streaming PC-ish type setup? And do you think they'll use discs? Let me also ask that. I don't think discs are going to be a thing you anymore. You think discs are out? I think yeah. they're on their way out. 
Well, and maybe that's just our perspective because we hate discs. Well, I liked it. No, we I really like liked discs. discs. We are team we discs. We discussed this on well, the last batch. Right? Yeah, we Man, are. Man, all right, team we, discs We've over said here. it before. Yeah. We like big, fat discs. We like having them on the shelf. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Seeing all the games. What if you just had a box? What, 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 how is a box appealing in any way, shape, or form? How's a disc appealing? Because <laughs> you put it on your I shelf. I understand like what you're you saying. You want the disc on the shelf? You put it in its case on the shelf. So you just have to know that it's in there. You just, yeah, and then you take it out and... I have a Bioshock Infinite case that doesn't have a disc in it, and I it bothers me every time I look at it. Oh, really? But I still have it. I don't know if I'm that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you, you got so too far for Jeremy. Oh, no, you're you're back I, like, I like having all the games so I can look at them all and be right. like, what would I like to play? Yeah. But I don't know if I'm crazy enough to buy an empty box. <laughs> I mean, first of all, I didn't buy an empty no, box. No, no, no. I'm saying that was Ryan was suggesting. Okay. I'm just saying, print it out. Thank you for that. It's a few, You want it? Just print it out. I lost the disc. Put a QR me. code in it so you just scan it and then it brings You're that game up. You're the worst. Why are you the worst? Want, <laughs> I don't want, like, I open a case and then it's like, download at PlayStation.com. Fuck that. Or, I want like, a it disc. just says, you oh. have this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You own it. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> no, I don't want an empty disc. Like, I'm not going to get, I'm not that driven for the box that I want an empty box. But then you have to take things out and put them in. You already have to install the game. Oh, it's so hard being you. Just put in a damn disc. You could share it with everyone yes. you know. You're done with it? Give it to someone else. There it is. Now, that would be nice. That's yeah. nice. That's, like well, of course, that was the whole thing when Xbox One came yep. out that we we as a community said, no! Yeah. And uh, it was weird because right after they said, all right, fine. Then they released all the details where it was like, it's going to be super cool, though. You could have done this. And we're like, oh. Oh, yeah. That might have worked. Oh, uh, yeah. It could have been nice. Yeah, but Dick's it could have not been it. nice. Dick's but then they, ruined You know, it. here's the thing. Yeah, I, and I, I, I admit that I was... I was on the side of don't do dick. that. I was on the side of the dicks. <laughs> I don't know if we were dicks or not. Dick sign. I don't. We'll, we'll never, never know. know. If we were dicks. <laughs> we'll never well, know. Well, we'll know probably with the next console. We'll know if we were dicks. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but the, it, in hindsight, if they'd released it and it was awful, then they would have fixed it. So it would have been bad for a while, and then if it was bad for a while, and then people would have rioted, and it would have gotten corrected. But they did that. They pre-rioted. Yeah, they did. They got a little too excited. They didn't even but let the, the test happen. Mm -hmm. If you do the post-riot, then you fix it. You just and you still get it. Right. That's what I'm saying. People should have post-rioted. <sighs> it's, it's all about when to riot. What about mm. discs or maybe memory cards of some sort? Memory cards. Wow. You know how like the 3DS does that now? It's just on a memory card that it comes out to you. But oh, okay, with well, 3DS, uh, that's. I mean, it's branded issue, like yeah. it's a game, but it's a friggin' memory card. I do. Mm. I mean, listen, the cloud is, it's useful. It's helpful. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, but I, want I understand what we something. want is not convenient. Like, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and a woman. I'm used to what I want not being convenient, <laughs> so it's fine. It's also, I, I am arguing from a point of view that is not mainstream. Like, having more than one console is not a common thing. That's true. And that is where it is irksome. Like, I don't want to haul... A, con a game back and forth to that. I don't want to take my giant Damn box. Oh, <laughs> like again. right now, it is a giant box because there's Just Cause Three, Rainbow Six, uh, Tomb Raider, so hard Fallout Four, uh, Battlefront. Look, I mean, the, I Look can't. At all these games all my new I games got. way oh. too much. I'm lucky that I can keep track of my keys. I can't keep track of all these games. <laughs> You're a father. You can keep track of shit. That's all dedicated to making sure the kids are somewhere that I know they are. Okay, fair enough. That's where all that brain power I goes. I don't have any more brain power to carry. Uh -huh. I get you hear something fall down the stairs. You're like, I there. Don't. <laughs> that has happened. <laughs> I have gotten the kids to school and went. I left a game at home when we actually have physical copies. Why? And also, why are you taking six games anywhere? Do You're not you going to play six games at home. Do you understand how much stuff goes into getting a kid to school? There's like the knapsack, and then they got the things, and then sometimes permission forms, you got to pay tuition, and then they got the, like, a water cup. Tuition? What kind of fancy-ass school do you He sends a kid in with a check. You have to pay for them to go to school. It's not free. Not at free. public school. Well, they're less than five. Mm, mm. That's fair. Yeah, it gets free when they're five. Okay. Private preschool. Then they make you pay yeah. for other things. Yippee. Yeah, no, it goes the other way there very soon. Bougie. But. That's what you are. <sighs> You know what? <laughs> you just think about how wrong you are for a minute. Oh, well, I'm going to read this. Yeah, please do. Don't fuck up. God oh. <laughs> this episode of The Patch is brought to you by Casper. Casper is an online retailer of premium mattresses for a fraction of the cost. Casper is revolutionizing the mattress industry by cutting the cost of dealing with resellers and showrooms and passing that savings directly to the consumer. Casper's mattress is an obsessively engineered mattress at a very fair price. Two technologies, latex and memory foam, come together for better nights and brighter days. It's a comfortable mattress that has just the right sink and bounce. 
Those are important things. Nice. <laughs> in many things in life, those are important. You can buy it easily online and completely risk-free. Casper understands the importance of truly trying out a mattress that in all reality you spend a third of your life on, or more if you're lucky or lazy. <laughs> Casper offers free delivery and painless returns with a 100-day period. Wow, 100 days? That was in parentheses, so I had oh, to deliver it like oh, I see, I see. it was an aside. Uh, so you don't have to lie down in the showroom. Get a Casper mattress for $500 for a twin or $950 for a king-size mattress. Comparing this to industry averages, that's an outstanding price point. And you can save an additional $50 as one of our audience members by going to casper.com slash patch and entering the promo code patch. That's casper.com slash patch and promo code patch. Yes. Nice. There were a lot of hoo hoo. I got close. Ooh, ooh, no flubs. I got, I got no it out. Flubs. I got it mostly out. Ryan, I gotta make you rap soon. And oh. I I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I can usually talk fairly well when I'm not having to do my thumbs. Okay. Like there's a short circuit somewhere along the thumb pathway uh, that makes me not able to talk. Interesting. Yeah. So you might say that I am uniquely ill qualified for the job that I possess. Right. Huh. But it makes it funny. So it good. does make for good it humor adds to it. Yes. As Gavin makes fun of me constantly. Mm. Yeah. So I'm glad he doesn't come to work anymore. Oh. Yeah. It works <laughs> out very is a well common term mm. now. <laughs> you know what I've been playing this week? What's Speaking of playing? Gavin, Crossy Road. Crossy Road, Crossy <sighs> Road, Crossy right, let me Road, tell you, and more Crossy Road. Crossy Road's my fault. I love that game. And last night, Gavin beat my high score. My high score was 468, and Gavin oh. beat it at 539. Yeah! Does Michael know yet? No, nobody told Michael. I don't think. Oh no! What is Crossy Road? It is an app <laughs> where you're a chick. You can be a bunch of different characters, but by default, you're a chicken, and you- it's just Frogger. I was going to say it's, it's a Frogger, but it's never ending Frogger. Yeah, it's never yeah. ending. Oh, and so, so you just get a point every time you you hop across across a lane. You went across four hundred and something lanes. Yeah, well, there's like some are grass and some are like rivers where logs go. There's a bunch yeah. of different stuff you can traverse. Oh, and I am going to beat his score. And he did. He told That's me so, so much time. How long slightly. does it take to get to that many lanes? Um, if you get up to four hundred, something probably takes you about ten minutes, maybe. You can do it that fast, yeah. yeah. Oh. You can do it pretty fast. Kind of keep moving. But it's just like, oh, this is it. This is Crossy Road. <coughs> oh, look at that! Look jump, at that and then there's like trains. Yeah. Holy sh! And, and if you go too far back or too far to the sides, right. it ends too. So you have to keep you. moving forward. Yeah. Like rainbow um, horse. Wow, that guy's two fourteen. Um. Yeah, Crossy Road is kind of my fault. I um, love it. So, I was going to get eagled. Oh, man. Oh, he almost got eagled. Right. What happened eagled. was... Uh, That's when you don't go fast enough. Like, you come yeah. too far back and an eagle comes and swoops you up and oh, eats damn. you. Oh, damn. So right. the, the, it's like the screen keeps advancing. So if you get too, if you wait too long, yeah. you they also lose. You die by eagle. Yeah. Got it. So when we went to L.A. for the, the Rainbow Six party, um, Gavin got me into the Admirals Club. <laughs> I heard you were a complete Admirals Club noob. In Dude, the Club. I was such a noob, and I ate everything. Yeah, apparently I had like, like brownies and, and, and oh yes, oh, it was good. Anyway, they have little iPad things or uh, Android tablets in there, and I picked it up. And the only game it had on it was Crossy Road, so I started playing that. And then Gavin saw it, and he started playing. And then we went back, and we were both playing it. We were sitting there waiting for the gate. And it spread from there, so yes. until everybody was playing Crossy Road. And Michael's high score that he like tweeted out that was like, On the plane, you need a yeah. lot, I set the bar so high you need a trampoline to see it. 338. Oh, yeah. oh damn. Which that was, was high score, like six high scores. Ago. At the time, was very high. It was. Right. It yeah. took me a long time. I've been playing pretty much nonstop for a week. And I got four, uh, four whatever, I got 464 or whatever it was. Wow. I got it in the bath. It was a very exciting bath for me. That's why I do my best game yes, as well. Yes, it yeah. is, right? <laughs> and then I took the dog out last night, and Gavin, I come home, and Gavin's like, hey, how was your, wife? Oh, your walk? And I was like, oh, it was good. And he was like, oh, it was the weirdest thing happened while you're gone. And we just moved, so I always think, like, I, I, I thought the house might be haunted mm-hmm. at one point. So I was like, oh, God, what happened? Like, new development with the ghost. <laughs> What's the ghost saying? And he was like, saying? oh, this happened. And it was like his high score. Like, you son of a oh, bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> He set me up so good. What a cheeky so now bastard. He's, now he's out of town, so I'm going to break it. So you guys are doing it on your phones? Yeah. Okay. Cause he, we played on the Apple TV, though. Right. That's, um, that's You can play co-op on an Apple TV. Do you think it's co-op. easier on the, the Apple TV or not? No, it is way harder on really? the Apple TV, I think. Is there like a lag or something? No, it's just, um, I don't know, on the phone, I guess I feel more connected to the mm-hmm. experience, whereas on the Apple TV, there's like some sort of like distance. How does co-op work? Are you just both crossing? Yeah, you're both like crossing if one you die. crossing guard. Yeah. <laughs> Stop cards. Yeah. Um, no, you're both just crossing, and then if one of you dies, you get so many. If the as long as the person stays alive for the certain number of hops, uh, you get to come back. 
Nice. Yeah, so it's a lot easier to get higher scores. Uh, does it is it at least directionals on yeah, the Apple that TV? Because that's the, the if you want to jump to the side or jump back, you have to like it's you just tap to jump forward, but you have to like swipe left, swipe oh. right, or swipe down. Well, the down. Apple remote is a touchpad, so oh. you click it or you can swipe. It's the same as the phone. Still swiping though. Yeah. I kept thinking that if you could have have an actual D pad, you would probably. Uh, you might be able to use the up. old Apple remote on it. I don't know. We don't mm. have that anymore. Oh, I would assume sorry. miss swipe oh. off and events. kill. Oh yeah, no, you oh. miss swipe or don't you, you try and swipe and instead you tap and. Yeah, that's what gets me is I, <laughs> I swear I swiped and then it'll be like tap and I'm like motherfucker, I swiped. There's a <laughs> lot of angry. I, sw- I swiped. swiped. <laughs> There's a lot. You can spy in the house. It's a lot of like damn it. <laughs> I swear I swiped. It's a great no-brain game though. Yes. It's it's, nice. it's like very Super flappy fun. bird or like if you're just sitting there and you literally can do nothing else, play that game. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take a long plane ride, and I was like, playing this on it. But I'm worried now that I'll burn myself out on it before the plane ride. Yeah, that's why I put it down. Yeah, I need to because I was like, I, it's so good at wasting time. I was like, I could get on a plane. <laughs> like that's how good how good it is. Well, that's where Michael got his three thirty eight. Yeah. We were flying back, and he, his Perfect whole goal, plane game. his entire uh, yes. goal. Oh, see, this is a co op. Oh, it's a duck. And you can land on each other and squish each other. See, like he's gonna get the fish is gonna get. And it'll land on top of him if he doesn't move out of the way in time. <laughs> so wherever they spawn, the oh, person shit. always spawns on top of you. You have to move out of the way oh, at the last second. What was that game that did that? Hell Divers or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could throw oh, the beacon. Hell Divers, that was great. Um, yeah, no, I, Michael's whole goal on the plane was just to, he figured at just that time, I think. Just to piss off Gavin. It was like 160 or something was Gavin's score. It was, was it 160? Or I think, yeah, it may have been. It, I think that was what he was aiming for was like 200 or something. Yeah. Uh, and Gav, Michael figured if he hit 300, Gavin would just completely abandon ship. Yeah. <laughs> Did he, not work out. He almost abandoned ship when I hit 460 something. Did 468 he? 468 or whatever. He was like, nah, I'm fucking I'm out. And then he, then I went on the walk and he was like, ugh. Damn it. <laughs> Do you think he cheated? I want, I, you know, I thought I, about it. I hmm. thought about like there's got to be a mod or something, but it's a pretty believable score. Five something. The, the world leader Gavin is can make it 998 is the highest score in the world right now. Oh, how much, like, that yeah. must have yeah. sucked so much. <laughs> Here's the good thing, though. You can, if you just, like, close down or, you know, turn off your phone or whatever, at least I don't, I don't know how it works on the iPhone, but on that on Android, if I just minimize the application, it's still there, and you can just pop it back up and open, and it'll go three, two, one, and yeah, then you're playing again. Yeah, you can again. pause it again on, uh, nice. on yeah. iPhone. You can also, um, there's a little part in the menu where you can record your attempts, so it records the face cam while you're, Doing your jumps. Oh, so you can see yourself like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a fun game. Really fun game. Crossy roads. Oh, I'm going to pick that up before the. It is it's really the fun. Playing ride coming up. Oh. It's actually, too, uh, of all the microtransaction type free games out there, it's probably one of the better implementations of that because it doesn't bother you with ads. What it does is uh, the whole thing that in the game, you just you have your little character that goes across the road. Uh, there are a bunch of different characters you can unlock, though. Right. And uh, to unlock them, you collect coins as you play. And it will offer you, it's like, you want to watch an ad? You get 20 coins for it. And you don't have to do it. You can just completely ignore that and keep playing. Or you can watch the ad, take a little break, get you 20 coins. I've never once watched an ad. <coughs> really? Not the whole time. And also, you unlock your every 100 coins, you get to unlock a character. Um, and there's like 100 characters. You can buy them for 99 cents if you see a character and you're like, oh man, I want that character. Or there's a chance you'll unlock it sometime in the game. Yeah. So there's oh, no right. advantage. So it's a random character yeah. you unlock. And none of the characters have any advantages over the other characters. Good. They're just so. skins. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I but mean, they have fun like little things. I heard you were fish and chips, right? So you were spraying like fi- French fries all over the road. Yeah. Um, and when you get hit, you just disintegrate into a cloud of French fries. <laughs> oh, nice. Great. I was playing Squirrel, and Squirrel picks up acorns, and then when he gets hit by the cards, like Sonic with the rings, like the acorn, the number of acorns you uh-huh. collect, they go everywhere. Um, I also tried Celebrity, and Celebrity is like a little girl with like, a cute little purse, and every so that many gets hit feet. by a car? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Sometimes every, a train. Yeah. And every so many feet, there's like photographers in the bushes taking <laughs> photos of her. Oh, and weird. when she gets hit by a car, a bunch of money just like shoots oh. out of everything. Yeah. They really change up the whole map depending on what character you are. Yeah. There's like oh, different color cool. schemes, and it's really cool. I have a vampire, and it, the, it goes nighttime. When you're doing it, I think that's really his only main. Oh no! Sometimes he turns into a bat too, which is actually really annoying. Oh, that sucks. I would, I would assume, yeah, because all of a sudden your character changes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'll pick that up for the plane ride. Yeah. I was playing on my last plane ride. I was playing uh, the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Have you ever played oh, that game? Oh my god, Zumbinis! I love that game, right? <laughs> Wait a second, I got a what? question for you. What's Uh-oh. that? Where'd you get that key for Zumbinis, huh? Hmm. But it's available uh-huh. on Steam. You bought it? Yeah. All right. The hunt continues. 
What? Someone used, we got a Steam key. We got a Steam key. <laughs> we get like Steam keys in for, for games sometimes. And it was the Zoom Beanies. I've been so excited about it. I've, I got it. I was on my way to work. And I was like, all right, as soon as I get home, I'm going to, or get to work, I'm going to get that key. It maybe 45 minutes later, a key had already been used. Oh. Ooh, and nobody has owned up to using the Zoom Beanies key. What, I mean, was that, is that to a no specifics? No. Source or was it, it to was a? To, it was to the whole company. It was to a company. Oh, wow. a certain see, list. I never get to see to those. a lot of people at the company. Okay, a lot of people. I want to get on these lists. I miss that. Yeah, I would have taken it. You might not be on. <laughs> you might be on, not be. Like, mm, yeah, you yeah, might yeah, not be on the special list. Don't say it. Yeah, yeah. I won't say I it. But I'm just somebody list. out there has zumbinis at this office. I'm not cool enough. To no the joke. List. There might be three balls in the game cylinder that I put that have zoom beanies written on it. It's so much fun. Look at it. What? That's the old version. What do you do? So it's basically you make different characters. That person had made terrible characters because they all looked very similar. Oh, wow. So if there's okay. no roller Listen, skates. Listen, in the old fucked. game, you used to be able to make a duplicate of each character. Like you could make a, a random character and then and then hit go twice and it would pop two of them out. Oh. And it just made all the puzzles easier because as you play, it's like like the first level is like there's two cliffs. That like will sneeze when you try to go across them. They're like allergic to certain traits, like a blue nose or sunglasses or yeah. something. So you have to like deduce which thing they're allergic to and get them okay. all across before the bridges like, collapse. Sacrificing yeah. This is the cave. So the yeah. caves, thankfully, the caves will yell, like they'll like startle the zoominis, but it won't take any of them away. The bridge will take ones, take zoominis away from you. It'll like knock them off the bridge. This one, yeah, it will like, like it this throws them back. This just scares them back, but you can keep going. Well, the what I didn't know about the cave one, I learned when I was younger in the old in the old version. Because this isn't like a '90s computer game that kids played, and they right. remade it for this. Yeah, game. they're like the the rock guys will like jump up and knock you down, and actually, if you do it enough, it blocks the caves and they oh, can't go through. Oh, interesting! But it takes forever. You have to really suck, which I did. <laughs> <laughs> As you know a kid. the one that I couldn't. I still I played it again. Mm -hmm. The one that I still was like, I do not get what these assholes want. Is the one where they're in the tree? I could the not figure out what they wanted. Wait, the, oh, the hotel or the fleens? No, the fleens. Oh, the fleens? The, so the fleens, man. Let me right. tell you about they're these like, fleens. They're like mean Zumbinis. Yeah, exactly. Evil like, Zumbinis? They're yes. like mega Zumbinis. They're green and long yeah. instead of blue and circle. Like, like they're the Waluigi, too. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they, they scare off your Zumbinis. So you need so many at, at each checkpoint to continue the game. If you don't have enough, you have to go back to the start and bring more Zumbinis. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, it yeah, sounds like the, lemmings. The it fleens, sort of it's like you have to look at your Zumbinis and be like, oh, that one has like, that fleen has tank treads. And it's like, that's equal to my Zumbinis like roller skates. Oh. Like so, and then you gotta pick which three are on the And Zumbinis we nest. wonder why there's a problem with profiling now. I couldn't yeah. figure it out. No, it is very much like the roller skate people can only go over there. And we don't <laughs> yeah. do any blue noses. It's yeah, it's a lot of discrimination, but it's, <laughs> but it's good. It's for kids. It's like process of elimination type stuff. It teaches okay. logic really yeah. well. Yeah, there's one where you build a pizza. Oh, it's so fun. Mm -hmm. The guy with the pizza is the best. Arno the pizza troll. Yeah. I, there he is. There's Arno. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and so you put stuff on the pizza, and he'll be like, there's not enough toppings. And then you'll put another topping, and he'll be like, there's something on here I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bring him his pizza. So Look all, at all the wasted food. Yeah, because yeah, see food, him, he's like, something. Oh. He doesn't like something on there. This person sucks. You just throw Look at them. Yeah, you could have figured this out in five pizzas, literally. Yeah. Oh, that Zumini just yeah, died. Yeah, and so they're all gone. He murders a Zumini <laughs> yeah. for inadequate he, like, pizza? He yeah. flicks them off. He'll, he'll like, wow. At first, he'll just That's be like, grim. I don't like it. Then and he'll like try punch it. you once. Yeah. And then the next time you mess up, you're you're gone. Yeah. Punches you on the moon. It's really fun. And then you make it to like so, so Zumbin Topia, yeah. whatever their like land is. Um, I think it's literally Zubiniville. Yeah, exactly. like <laughs> and it's just there's no like the thing that sucks is there's no real like climax. It's like, hey, you made it, and then you can like some of them settle. And there's like three different or a few different um, like backdrops in Zubiniville, mm -hmm. and they just settle there. And then you can like go back to the start and bring more Zubinis <laughs> to settle it. in yeah. Zubiniville. All right, thanks for delivering this group. Go get some more. Oh, that's like remember it gets like hard pajama too. Sam. And what was the fish one? Freddy Fish. Oh, those were good games. <laughs> so you're saying it's hard. Was it hard for you then? But you yeah, know, it's hard now. Like too. there's some stuff now that you're like, what the fuck does he want? But there is some stuff that's easier for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So you get a couple you know, puzzles to make you feel smart, and then they really smash you. It's true. Yeah, yeah they, it's <laughs> they get more difficult. As it's it really fun. Pajama Sam and Freddy Fish were my little brothers, like Zoom beanies. No. So I got to I got to play more children's like children's computer games. <laughs> I bet, and I think someone has sped run Freddy Fish. There's like a speed run in it. That's awesome. 
That's why the speedrunning community is the best. Oh, this is Pajama Sam. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Pajama Sam. What is he doing? Best. He goes on an adventure and he has to get a flashlight. This looks like a really LSD'd version of the Fallout 3 beginning. It's like a kid. Like he does a little dance. It's a kid's game. They're fun. Yeah. It's, what is he doing? He's just frolicking around treats. Yeah, it's the opening. Uh, what would you do? Yeah. Yeah. Eat the treats. Uh, they're your friends. They had faces. If my oh, food yeah. had a face mm. looking at me. You couldn't eat it. Well, there it. was a table of it. inanimate food they could have eaten. Go back to the food clip, What please. does he eat? See, look. Oh, look, yeah. look he's eating no, it he's now. eating it. He's eating it right now. <laughs> he heard you and was like, are you not entertained? I'll eat the goddamn brownies. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, he's going to eat the big piece of, of, of cake. <laughs> oh, no, he's talking to it. I feel okay. like this is one of those things where you cut back to it like three hours oh, later. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, my God. Damn. damn. And like all the food's still dancing, but now it looks like all haggard and sad. It's like, <laughs> please let us stop dancing. <laughs> and Sam's like, no. <laughs> please me. Do you think there's like pajama Sam fan fiction where oh, Sam's yes. like? Yes, there is. Really? Guaranteed there is. Oh, man, I got to go look I mean, for fucks it. Foxy ice cream cone. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just make sure you get it all off, because otherwise it smells like old milk. Ah, yeah, oh, that's please. true. Yeah, good point. <laughs> oh, gross. What See, else is happening? Using whipped cream games? during sex would make sense that time. <sighs> but out of I areas. mean, if, if the whipped cream is the animated thing that you're having sex with, maybe. I don't know. It wouldn't be satisfying to have sex with whipped yeah. cream. There's and no, it, like, friction. It, it, it's also, just, like, a cloud of stuff. It <laughs> also, def as I noticed today, deflates. Yeah, it after almost the immediately. Yeah, it just goes, like, <laughs> it turns into, like, a puddle oh. of awful. Oh. Very true. What else is happening in video so, games? So, Just Cause 3 also came out. Yeah. yeah. Getting some good reviews. Well, I've also heard that there's a lot yeah, of people saying There's a lot mind. of love it or hate it. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently it's got some performance issues, which you've been playing on the, the Xbox One. Yes. What do you think? Um. Yeah, there was certain points where... um. If there was enough explosions happening mm -hmm. and stuff, it like it would really it'd be like I was playing in slow motion. Mm -hmm. oh. Like it didn't seem to lose frames. It, it just seemed like I was going really slow. It was just chugging mm -hmm. along. Yeah, yeah. It actually slowed down. Yeah. yeah. Um, What's up with games that bad, but... don't work? Like I feel like every game now is like my performance issues. Yeah. Like, well, like every it's, game. It's, it's oddly, it's usually the PC lately that has that issue, which uh, it may still. Uh, I've got a, a PC copy of it and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know if my view is distorted. And we have some a PS4 bit. copies. We have some PS4 copies. So I haven't tried. To How are you going to carry them all they, around? They, they sent us PS copies and PS4. I mean PC copies. Uh, with PC and, and PS4. PS4. On the PC, it looks definitely better than the Xbox One, but I mean mm -hmm. that's typical. Yeah, to um, be expected. There and it is. It runs pretty well. Like I haven't really had any drops, but the fun? I'm running. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. Um, I'm running in uh, like an <laughs> i7. Can destroy the bridge? Can you do it with that? Yeah, oh, you can definitely destroy the bridge. Uh, but I've got a uh, NVIDIA 780, uh, which is, I mean, it's not new, but it's still it one of the top put it in my end baby. of that group. Mm. So it could be that that's why I don't really notice any problems. Mm. I mean, the game's mm. super fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is it's fun. just, it did slow down at one point. It hasn't done it too much since w then. Was so. it a lot of explosions? What was... I was like clearing out a town. Mm -hmm. Like, so you, yeah, you just, you jump from place to place and you're blowing stuff up yeah. and everyone's shooting at you. And like, so there's just a lot happening. Yeah, it does not skimp on the explosions. Yeah. Usually oh, they're no. so big that it's difficult to take them in mm. if you happen to be too close. Yeah. Uh, and there's several... Uh, well, they kind of did an interesting thing with the... They're called mods in the game, but they're basically like your skills, essentially. But you can mix and match how you've got them applied and unlocked. Uh, I mean, things like you turn one on to give your all cars you get... In, well, any of the cars you call in to have nitro and... Things like that, and there's uh, things you can turn on to make your your grappling hook reel in faster. And, but to get them, you have to actually do all the like side challenges. Like, yeah, they've got skydiving. Well, not skydiving. It's wingsuit challenges, driving challenges. By the way, driving this game. Yeah, uh, yeah, yep. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Pretty much any game that's not a driving game, though. Yeah, I mean, there's it's, some games that have figured it out, like have done it really well. Yeah, I think GTA. GTA, too, GTA I know that did it really like well, like. We can't, I mean, it, auto's in the title of the game. If you can't have driving in GTA. Stealing cars. Yeah, but they just, yeah. they're so good at refining it. Like, if you go back and play 4 now, it's like, ugh, when you try and drive. But now in 5, what it's great. It's all crisp and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, they got the wingsuit, the driving. There's, uh, like, destruction challenges. Those are really fun. Mm. Uh, there's a couple different kinds of, There's like, one where you have a car with a bomb on it. Have you done that no, one yet? I've done one of those. That was really fun. It's like speed. You yeah. got to keep your car above 60. Oh. And like get to the target, and then when you see the target, you have to bail out so the car keeps going and hits it. And That's you just fun. get a huge, very explosion. fast and the furious yeah. of you. Yeah, uh, but I mean, the voice acting is 
Still Just Cause. Oh. They sound almost more Italian. Oh, nice. I think. Oh, uh, you haven't really been listening, have you? No, I, I skip the cutscenes and get right to the <laughs> yeah. explosions. Uh, you I don't missing. need your story. That's true. <laughs> I mean, there is no story. Yeah, really. it's like, that's been the one of the bigger complaints in the reviews have been like, well, this doesn't add to the story in any way. Did shape, they play or form. Just Cause two? They're, well, they're, apparently, <laughs> they were not happy with the story. Yeah, yeah. they blow stuff up. That's I never played story. Just Cause one, but Just Cause two, the story was like, oh, I guess you're here now. Hmm. Why don't you help me overthrow that guy? All right. I, that was by it. destroying everything. Yeah. yeah, that was literally the <laughs> yeah, entirety that's so of the story. Weird. You're the biggest terrorist in that game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by so far. Strange. And you are again, essentially. I mean, whether it's a, a unlawful regime or not, you're still overthrowing the current government. Yeah, mm. um, <laughs> but it's also like liberate this village, destroy their fuel, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 take it out. In the other game, it was like their water towers. Yeah, like, take them out. Well, now at least it's like billboards. Like, yeah, no like, likes billboards, like propaganda trucks and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, like their fuel tanks and water supply doesn't really make a lot of sounds sense. Sounds also very Far Cry with the Kinda. propaganda it like does. speakers and all that you gotta yeah. take down. Though I guess Just Cause 2 predates most of that in Far Cry, I think. Yeah. yeah. Far Cry 3. Definitely came out after Just yeah. Cause 2. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, hold on one second. Uh, we are, this show is also brought to you by the RT Store. Hey. Uh, I'm You're wearing, wearing an RT product. Oh, don't, oh, why don't you don't touch walk, my nipple again? Don't walk your chest into my <laughs> hand and then blame me. The best I part pointed is, at it and you went, oh, yeah. Ryan's wearing all RT stuff. It. I accidentally am, uh, mainly due to free play. Not my nice. fault. Nice. Um, That's your shirt. So, yeah. So, I actually had the hat and the shirt. Both of these things purchasable from the RT store. Go buy stuff now. Because why not? And also, uh, there's going to be great sales. Maybe we'll sell this someday. Maybe not. Probably not. Did you just, you should go into Emily's office and be like, I promised that we would sell this hourglass <laughs> and to see if this you can needs upset to be her. Sold. <laughs> we'll let Gavin break it again. Oh. Well, first, not this one. Damn, I hate you. Damn. Wait, you know what? <laughs> I got this. Don't worry about it. Okay. I was like, I kind of remember where that clock started. What are you, what are you started. pulling out of your pants? <laughs> well, settle down, all right? Uh, we're good. Down. We're good. No, we're good. Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, other than that, so far the game's been pretty enjoyable. Like, yeah. I, what are you, I are no... you taking it apart? No, he's no, tight tightening it. it. Oh, I thought you were dismantling it. I'll show it. <laughs> uh, Speaking of Far Cry 2, yeah. I mean, well, not Far Cry 2, but also. As uh, well. There, there's a new Far Cry game coming out. Yes, yeah. well. Primal. Primal, and it is a uh, it is a full game, a full retail. Like, you can actually check back to, well, tomorrow is when this is being live streamed. Or, yeah, live streamed, but... Mm -hmm. um, we uh, we sent a couple guys out that took a look at, at it, so we'll have a video up. I believe it's Thursday. Yeah. Uh, of Jeff and Jack playing around with it. Mm. I'm super excited. I love Far Cry. Yeah. Uh, it's it is expanded from. I don't remember we did a news story about it a while back, but it was started off as kind of that Blood Dragon level DLC, and it really blew up into a, a full retail title. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the thing I'm really curious about is, uh, I mean, there was such a. a array of weaponry available in the previous Far Cries. Going back that far in time, what, you got like Bows how many spears? spears? You got, all right, I got a bow. That's There was like, what, eight yeah. places on that wheel? So, okay, you got a bow, maybe a spear. Probably Rocks. a rock. A rock! <laughs> sure. Maybe like a go. mace? Could you make like a mace out of uh, it? Maybe you could make a bunch of stuff. A Apparently, hammer? A bunch of different and I guess animals play a bigger role in this one. Like, yeah. Because you could do that a little bit in the other game, like command animals around. Right. More um, in the it kind of showed up a lot in the multiplayer. Yeah, when you could summon like man, I hope. Oh yeah, you had, like return. elephants and stuff, right? Yeah, that was like the really colorful, like cool trailer yeah, like, for that multiplayer. Explosions of blue smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I also I don't think they've got multiplayer in this one. I think I'm. Oh really? I may I be talking my ass. I, I thought I'd heard that they there was not. They might have with this one. I hope they didn't because that was one of my favorite multiplayers, Far Cry Four. So much. Uh, am I talking about? Yeah, four. Four did have a really cool multiplayer. I wish we'd played more of it. <laughs> Sorry. Good I job. I was just about I to like. I couldn't believe how yours. well it was sliding. I was so just, I just thinking, kept man, doing we it. should really do like a air hockey. I want to point out that I saw this a little bit. It went all the way off the table and <laughs> nailed Meg's phone. That's right. <laughs> Get these at the RT store. Do it yourself. Also. Oh my God, Jeremy, what did you do? You cracked no, it. No, listen. I looked down and I saw that and for a second. I went. Oh God! <laughs> I keep trying today to like blame it on other people. When did who, that happen? Uh, uh, Sunday. Ugh. What and happened? I, I was so I was at the. Jeremy! Really? 
It's like an air hockey team. Air. That one's not a slidey. Go for it. I oh, um, It makes more noise, though. <laughs> I was getting my nails done, and I dropped it out of my hoodie pocket, and the lady was like, oh, my gosh, is your phone okay? But I was so embarrassed, and I didn't want to, like, deal with having to talk <laughs> to her more. You know what I mean? So I was just like, yeah, it's great, even though I knew it was oh, shattered. Oh, inside oh. you were like, oh. no. Yeah. Inside your heart broke with it. <sighs> Does it look like it was just the top? It's not too bad. No. It, you know, my first thought was, is this going to fuck my Crossy Road score? But it, it's been good. It's been good. No, no, don't worry about it. Priorities. Touch sensitive is still yeah. good. Yeah, no. Oh. What else is going on? Uh, well, there's a new DLC for... I'm sorry, I was, I was looking at Far no, Cry. I was, I was trying time. to see if... Oh, okay. I was trying to see if I was just talking to my ass with multiplayer, but there's a lot of information on this page. And I haven't really had time to read it all in Interesting. that. Interesting. If you could maybe just break something else of Meg's oh, real yeah. quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can... Like, uh, Take oh, it's time over to there. Way over there. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's way over there. I was literally like, it's right there. And you're like, it's way over I just there. Ice skin, there's just no way. It just can't be done. Oh, someone picked up your purse. It was like laying in a heap over there. Oh, somebody, well, it's gone now. Oh, so hello. What you hey. just said okay. is someone stole your uh -huh. purse. <laughs> <laughs> it's been stolen. <laughs> uh, it says, while the last two Far Cry games had additional multiplayer modes, this is described as a single player experience oh. by mm. Ubisoft. So I right. may not have. That is two of Ubisoft. my favorite multiplayers Ubisoft. that didn't make it into this year. Well, this the, and Assassin's Creed. It's sad too that I, that probably means there's no co-op either, because Far Cry Four had a co-op mode, which was interesting. Yeah, like you couldn't do any story modes in co-op, but you could still do just run around and do all like the outposts and things. It's like great that. for things to do and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, so that's sad to see that go, especially with the whole like different world that they're opening up. I think they should have a multiplayer where you're a woolly mammoth and everybody has to take you down, and whoever kills you becomes the woolly mammoth. And it's just a lesson in You're like a were-mammoth? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just it's Battlefront game type that I just put in Far Cry. Well, I, I said to Jeff, there's gonna be dinosaurs in there somewhere. That like, would be amazing. hidden in some cave or something. Or just like a tar pit it. with a leg <laughs> You walk in a cave it. and they're just like, oh shit, he found yeah. us. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> like, I can't wait. I'm gonna find him. <laughs> Hide you, and seek with dinosaurs. <laughs> that'd be great if you kill the last dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like, that's like awesome one of the be? missions where no matter what you do, you kill the last it's dinosaur. It's the reverse of a Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sad. You kill Littlefoot's mom. Oh, oh no. you're you are an extinction level event. Yeah. Uh, in in Far Cry, that you do kind of feel like that yeah. usually. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, I just killed half the population of this small country. A cute act. But they were all bad, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> that judgment. No, it's true. When you put on the red pants, oh, you accept your fate. Interesting. You're also just like a tourist who apparently is really good at this. <laughs> Look, your family's from there. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's in yeah. your blood. That's how all the Far Cry start. You're like, I'm just some kid. Oh, look, I know how to murder everybody. Yeah, Psychologically, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm not at all broken. Same thing with Lara Croft. Like, oh, well, I guess you just gotta kill somebody sometime. Well, but yeah. she was psychologically broken in that one trailer we saw that one time. She got over it fast. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> apparently. In fact, in all of the, the subsequent game I've played, uh, that really barely came up. Mm. I, I don't think I've seen the, a therapy scene. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember, did you play All of Until Dawn? You guys did, right? You did like a Let's mm -hmm. Watch or something? Yeah. That was such a cool mechanic with like the guy, you, it was like you were in a oh. therapy session, but he kept like tweaking the game based on Peter your Storm answers. Peter Stormare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, and you knew it right off the top of your head and Gavin did too. Yeah. And I was we like, talked about who? him a lot. He's a that guy. I don't know who he is. We, he came up frequently when we were He's sitting the there replacer. watching him. Don't talk about him because he might die. If Look, talk we him. talked about him a lot already. He's the, probably fine. Say his fate is sealed. Ah, uh, I mean, there's a very specific set of rules for the Achievement Hunter curse to take place. <laughs> Look. I don't think there is. We just, killed someone the other day. Yeah, I know. Gavin I heard. Michael and I murdered I Don Vito. That no, wasn't in didn't. a video. It wasn't. So you didn't do it. That was the, the, Look, Don Vito lived life to the edge, all right? It's the man true. was going to go. But <laughs> we've never talked about Don Vito and then had a chat about him for about five minutes. All right, I hate he to say was that dead that night. He died that like is, at the time you guys were talking about. That it. is the first trigger for the curse. I, I'm sorry to say that that is part of it. Is basically it has to be someone that you one have no reason to be talking about, and two haven't talked about in a long time. Yes. Yeah. Like if they just come up out of the blue for absolutely seemingly no reason, I think we're looking at it backwards. I think that we're we're assuming a cause and effect when there isn't one. Oh, I yeah. think achievement hunter just happens to have like a, a death radar. Oh, and like, like you can just like one of you can see the future and wants to warn signal. the others, but doesn't want to tell them they have that superpower. <laughs> so there's like, hey guys, remember Don Vito? So weird. Just, yeah, mm. we just we get a little signal, and uh. some, and then it's like, well, you know, why would you talk about that guy? Well, it's because 
one of you is a vampire, and they're well, telling more they're likely. taking out their shark. <laughs> We're just angels of death. <laughs> yeah. That's also possible. We could That's be. the thing. I just need to never be out of your collective consciousness because yeah. you might forget about me one day and then mention me. And See, I'm like, so it's That's better it's to be talked <laughs> about. Yeah. It is better to be talked right. about consistently. Yes. yes. Uh, if you come up all the time, about, you're good. Yeah, once you're talked about, like you're in for life. Because if you get you out, go. you might die. Like for me, Tim Allen is safe. I talk about him like twice. <laughs> we haven't talked really? about Tim Allen in a long time. <laughs> oh, that's Tim you might have just you may have just no, set something fine. in motion. Trust me, that guy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, Don't I mean, the, let this be what we play in slow motion in black and white <laughs> in a week. Like, please. Farewell, Tim. Tim, be <laughs> safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But no, I think that that uh, I think we got a, a pass on. Don whatever. I don't think Don whatever. How dare you? <laughs> I don't actually don't know. The Rest in peace, man. Don Vito. Who's yeah. Don Vito. Bam's yeah. uncle yeah. or something? Yeah. What is he? A lot of the abacus. He's one of his weird He's like once. the one that they would just like beat the shit out of. He's like, in Bam, come on. Come well, on. Why abacuses? Well, he would get mad and, and not be able to talk anymore. So they locked him in a in a store once. And he found one of those kids, those things that kids play with. Like you slide the beads along yeah. the track. Yeah. That's literally what he screamed. He was like, well, what's going to happen? Kiss. It doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it away. <laughs> Some great people of Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, man. Somehow I missed that show. Yes. Uh, well, no, I mean, I knew it existed. I just chose not to watch it. Well, yeah, of course fair you enough. Did. <laughs> of course you did. It had good times. Hey. Hmm? What, what are you implying, huh? I didn't say shit. You know, I didn't say shit. You know? Keep talking about me, though, please, because I'm scared Monster. now. It's gone. <laughs> Don't Get make it me back. forget you in conversation. No. Uh, yeah, I can see the other big thing. Whoa. Yes! Wow. Oh, no. And it stopped. This one stopped. That was amazing. I don't want you. That was that a physics a demonstration. Physics demonstration. And I just... That coaster will never slide the same again. Jeremy finally put the coaster back on the table and Meg immediately. <laughs> Uh, what? That's a game there where it's you do a, that. Um, oh, yeah, where like you slide it in sand, right? Yeah. I don't know what the game is called. Well, we'll, we'll just call it air hockey. Yeah, sand. I air hockey it, it right off the table. Yeah, it's like a wooden table and there's sand on it and you like. Oh, I'm lost with the it. sand. Yeah, the know. sand thing's there's sand, sand in me. it. People will be commenting You're on this You're talking about video. like shuffleboard I'm or something. Yeah, it's like, like shuffleboard, shuffleboard, but you play with your hands on like a long On table. sand. No, <laughs> not on sand. It's a wood table and the sand stops it at the end. It like makes it grittier at the end, so they don't go flying off and smashing. It's like in when the face. people do the long jump; the sand stops them. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have sand at the end, why? Do, but what's it's not the like a, it's just like a sprinkling of sand to disrupt the motion. I I got nothing. I, I have no I, idea what she's talking about. It's a wooden, you know wooden track okay. with a dust. Can I just tell sand. you that about a million people below this video do know what I'm talking I, about? I don't, so I don't know. see if Twitter knows. Suck what a doing. butt. Suck a, see? <laughs> everyone's, gonna be, everyone's gonna be saying some weird nonsensical word to us. I feel like you're just talking about like DLC for shuffleboard. Like sand disc board. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that should be their special on sports ball. On there sport you go. ball. That's what I just meant all over That's right. Right. Sport ball. I was due. <laughs> Stop giving positive reinforcement. Man, that's false sports ball logo super fast. Sorry, it's not Andrew. A false curse. I mean, correlation doesn't equal causation, but still, that's true. Yes. Well said. Thank you. Uh, I guess the other. I big still news... believe you guys are responsible for the. Death. We didn't do it. Yeah, we Ryan didn't do it. I was. I was not there for the. Death. It was Gavin and yeah. I. Yeah. we did it. Did you? Any of you text each it other to be like, "Oh video. fuck!" It doesn't count. Yeah, my. <laughs> yeah, everyone else had gone. I think you guys are in L.A. when it happened. Uh -huh. Well, no, no, because Michael was. Gavin and Michael were in L.A. Yeah, yeah they were well, here. Well, so we talked about it the day it happened, and they flew out the next day. And I saw it on Reddit, and I texted Michael. I just wrote, what have we done? That's all I said. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I said it to him. if that's true, then it's far more dangerous than we ever realized. Because it yeah. was supposed to be just limited to videos. If it's jumped the video barrier. It's bad. We can't introduce the Gavin to You guys are in, like, Final Destination here. It's I'm bad. Afraid yeah. Except you. we're not Where in danger. Where is Devin Sawa? <laughs> <laughs> We have we have six men whose job it is to communicate with each other, and our, their communication is dangerous to celebrities that are no longer really part of the common. Yeah, so audience. stay stay pertinent, people. That's yeah. true. Stay in the news, and you'll be fine. Get back in there. Um, I really loved that uh, Katie said, "Hey, what if new consoles came with a 3D printer that printed out a box and a disc when oh, you downloaded the game?" There you go. Done. You get a whole box out of it. Oh, I'm, I mean, I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look at this, look, yeah, I mean, I would print it out and just kind of, I, mean, I don't care thing. about the disc at that point, honestly. <laughs> I'd just be like, yeah. 3D, 3D printer doesn't really print labels. No. But it was, yeah, I like where you're going with it. Or like discs. What if it came with a 3D printer and an inkjet printer? I don't need so much crap. Just give me my <laughs> box. <laughs> 
You eat all of your crap. Also, no one has any idea what you're talking about, Meg. They yeah. do know. They do. So, will, the, will you please just find a photo of what I'm talking about in there, please? <laughs> Someone's going to throw a word in there, and you're going to believe it. They're Chloe like, says she's got nothing. Jonathan board. says, nope, got nothing. There's going to uh, be a graphic up here. Sand helps the puck slide. I don't know what... Thank you. That, okay, it does something. I knew trinket it. shuffling. They still name the game. It's, it's fine. just arcade shuffleboard, nothing too complicated, okay. I'm afraid, says Thomas. Arcade shuffleboard. It's it's in bars and frat houses. Kaylin says, hey, Meg, dot, 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 the game. Okay. Oh, uh, you lost the game now because right. you're thinking about the game. Back when I was in college, yeah, I gave a shit about the game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have no idea what you're talking about, Meg Turney. Okay. Weird you don't sand have game. to read all the people who don't weird. know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Hashtag <laughs> weird, weird sand, sand game. game. <laughs> okay. Actually, it's uh, hashtag So we found it. Yes. Please unveil this game to the boys. Eventually. Damn, look at that game. <laughs> there it oh, is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's and just then, the thing they have in Yeah, bars. but then they put sand on it to help the puck slide. There's like just like this. Listen, bits. It's don't like change your there. description because of what the person in <laughs> yeah. Twitter said. Well, it either disrupts the motion or helps it. I don't know. But there's sand on that shit and it makes the pucks go. It's very round sand. It just rolls along. <laughs> you know, it's it's very fine grit. Yeah. yeah. It's it's silicon. It's, I don't know if they grade sand. It's point. funny because do. I just proved my fucking point and you two are trying to be like, oh, oh, oh. Well, ooh, join ooh, us next ooh, time ooh. where maybe we find out what the heck Meg's talking it's about. It's shuffleboard. <laughs> sure it is. That's shuffleboard. Yeah. Table shuffleboard. The, oh, that was amazing. Wow. I don't even think the camera saw it, no, though. No, it didn't. It definitely didn't. She managed to, like, there was, was an the empty can of hair, and she, like, knocked done. it like that. <laughs> that. That was amazing. It looked like this. Pretty cool, <laughs> yeah. It, it looks, I mean, it looked impossible to do. It's like no one could ever do it again. I feel like it was a, it's a totally one-time fluke event that is unreplicatable by any other person. <laughs> It was cool. Yeah, at first. <laughs> and then I discovered that it was also easy. No. <laughs> Thanks it. for joining us on the patch. We'll see you next week. And stay tuned for the game club. Oh.